Good afternoon or good evening. This is KevTech here bringing another video on information technology on getting back to basics. So um, today, I'm just going to make a quick video on going over folders, folder permissioning, and also I want to go over um, uh, NTFS or security permissioning on folders. And also when you right click, what, what, what the right click option on your mouse, what it does and what you could do when you right click. That's pretty much it. Just, it's a quick video. It shouldn't take that long. So as you see here, I already created a folder and I already created a document. You, if you right click on your screen and you hit folder, you create a, a brand new folder. Um, I uh, went over this before with a couple other people. A lot of people don't know the difference, difference between copy and paste. So if you copy and paste, it will keep the original file on your desktop. If you do, if you do uh, cut and paste, it will remove the file from the desktop and put it on whatever where you wherever you, you put it. If you move it, it will move the whole thing. It's not going to create a copy of it. Unless unless you uh, unless it's Outlook. If you have like a rule like I move, I have a rule like when I get an email, it creates a copy of this email to a specific folder. Then then that's different. But this is an Outlook. It's your desktop. So when you right click as well, you could do restore previous versions. Um, what the, what does that do is is that if you work in a financial firm, you work in any anywhere that has to do with IT, uh, everywhere of course, um, around the world, with anywhere you work, there's always going to be this tab called previous version. So if you work in a share drive or on your desktop or anywhere on your computer, you could always go back to a previous version. So um, some people don't know this. People, some people might know this or don't know this. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you work on a Word document or an Excel document, when you go to save, see this thing called save order recovery, it saves every 10 to 15 minutes. So when you go into previous versions, you could actually go into a Word document that you've been working on for 10, 15 days, and it would actually show every single day and when was the last time it was saved. So if you if you, if you you accidentally delete a file, you might be able to restore it by using previous versions. If it's on a share drive, um, depending on your company, I'm not sure what company you work for. So if you're like, a, if you have like a Z or A or B or, or D drive or H drive, basically you hit previous versions and you could restore that old, that file that was deleted by accident going into your share drive just right clicking on the folder and then hit previous versions. And then you'll get the, you'll get your file back. You, you actually didn't lose it. It's there. The reason for that is because if you work in a, if you know anything about it or work in an it environment, we're supposed to save your files or back it up. Every 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 like couple hours, we will save your like morning files, and then we will save in the afternoon. We will save it at night. It depends how your company is set up. But some companies they they save it they save it once or twice in the morning. They save it once and twice in the afternoon, and they save it once and twice in, at night. So that's basically what that is. So you can go back in time and actually grab your file if you're missing a file. Um, getting back to this, so you hit the advance. You could do archiving. You could encrypt the folder. You could share it if you want to share it. You could share it with another group. You could actually add another group. You put everyone if you want. You could create a new user if you like, and then put them in it. Um, you do advanced sharing as well. Security. This is what I'm talking about NTFS. This is where it gets really complicated because this is like the parent, and then this the this the parent and the child of the folder. So basically, what that means is, if you create multiple folders within a file then it gets really complicated so you have to know you have to know how you permission a folder see how this is like new folder new folder so when you do permissioning you have to know how this works or how folder permissioning works because this becomes a a, a a security hazard why because say for example you work in an IT environment and do you want to uh, you want people to have certain permissions in just one folder? And there's like seven folders within each folder. Um, it gets complicated. You have to know how to permission the folders. Otherwise, if you don't know how to do that, then basically they have access to everything in that one folder in, inside all those folders. So you have to be careful. So that's the reason why when you when when we deal with people, clients, and 
customers and people that work in finance or schools or anything we try we try to tell them to just create one folder and then create a separate one underneath it or on the top of it because if you create multiple folders inside one folder then the permissioning gets complicated and you have to try to permission one person into a specific folder or a specific file and if you and it gets it gets tricky it gets really tricky and then otherwise they'll have access to everything you don't want that and that's for security reasons for compliance reasons and for other reasons so you don't want to do any of that so I'm just just trying to explain that how that works. So that's basically what it is. When you do permissioning, like share permissioning, it gets really complicated. So then you do read, they can only read the file. You do write, that means they can write and edit the file. You do modify, that means they can edit the file, read and execute. Same thing, read and execute. They can read and execute the file, like open the file. Then full control is everything. They can read, edit the file. You could change the permissioning of the file and everything. So you got to be careful how you give people permissions. It's basically what that is. And then details tells you where it is exactly, the location, the size, when it was created, when it was modified. So if you have a folder or a file, this is for files as well. Um, you could actually find out when it was when was the last time it was modified, and when was the last time it was actually created, and everything. So some interesting information here. Um, tells you about the file so a lot of interesting stuff here because it tells you when when was the last time you know it, it was pretty much pretty much like touched and messed with um, besides that you could also in, encrypt the file um, some companies use Vera some companies use other applications to encrypt files some people use the default Microsoft application um, if you right click on your screen or if you right click on the file you could actually compress it into a folder and then you could put stuff in that you could you could compress it into a folder it's already there so if i want to add another file you could potentially add another file if you like that's entirely up to you so and here there is multiple stuff in there so people compress folders and comp compress stuff because if you work and any if you work in a, actually if you work in, in an office or facility or any kind of industry you want to com compress your files before you send an email because your email probably can't send that many files at the same time so the easiest way to do that is just by compressing your folder and just you know putting everything together and then sending it as a one attachment some people use winrar some people use 7zip some people use some other applications and and they compress it and that's basically what that's all about um other than right clicking, you can change the screen resolution gadget. So if you want to add uh, the weather, if you want to add the weather here, you could do that. Um, mine doesn't work because the incident doesn't work. You could add a slideshow. You could add a couple of things. This is page two. You could add Windows Media Player. These are gadgets you could add on your computer. There's some people. I remember someone had this on their computer one time. This. They're like, do I have a virus on my computer? I'm like, no, you don't. It's just it's just a gadget. Oh, I didn't know that. But yeah. And then um that's pretty much it. And then Windows Windows uh Windows 10, it's the same thing. You go to previous versions and you could do a couple other things as well. And then you if you have Microsoft installed, you could create a shortcut and do all this other stuff. For guys that use Edge or for people that use Edge and they want they wanna make a bookmark. And drag it to the desktop. You can't do it on Windows 10. No, and it's really annoying. Like it's like, come on, man! I can't make a bookmark on. I can't. I can't. I can't make a bookmark on this. Why can't I do that? That sucks. So you add it right, and then if you try to drag and drop, it doesn't work. It's like, oh, this this thing sucks. My edge sucks. Why does this not work? But if if you want to make it a shortcut, you just right click again. And then you go to shortcuts, paste it here, hit next, and call it Chrome. Ta da! And that's it. And then you just click on it, then it opens up on Edge. And that's about it. And that's all I wanted to show you. It's just folder permissioning and things to do with folders. My next video will be more about Microsoft products. It's just like the basics of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. So stay tuned for that video. It will be a basic video on, on those items. Um, besides that, I hope everyone has a great night and a good evening. Happy Thursday. 
rate, comment, subscribe as always. I greatly appreciate that you take the time to watch my videos. And um, happy Thursday night. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.